Hey, what's up, everyone? This is ShadowHB3 here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Crash of the Titans. In the last episode, we completed Episode 9, Operation Overboard, and in this episode, we will complete Episode 10, A Sludge Too Far. I did some practicing off-screen. Uh, you won't notice it. Um, here, of course, but uh, this level that we're going to be doing next is going to give me fits. I'm not looking forward to it, but nonetheless, we've still got to do it. So uh, let's get at it. Episode 10, a sludge too far. So as you can see, we are not too far away from uh, looks like engines lair. And you can tell there's rockets firing out of the holes on his head, so you gotta be wary of those because if they will land in those areas, and if you're running, they will catch you off guard. If you're not careful like that, best thing to do in that in this case is to just use your um, Aku board air grind and just slide your way back past there, no problem done. Uh, right there. Backflip here, get a free jack mask, which we will need because this next area is where I've had a lot of trouble when practicing. You want to use it to jack a sludge, and then immediately upon doing so, you get like hit with an onslaught of sludges. And you want to at least try to stun one of them long enough so you can jack it because they come at you in bunches. So I'm going to try to give myself some room so I can use my uh, toxic move again. If I can. There we go. And I got several game overs trying this out. In fact, when I was practicing this, <laughs> I felt like I was having so much trouble that I would have been better off serving, um, getting the sludge scan and then going from there, but it looks like I've cleared that area. So now that we got that done here, this is a good combo hotspot here if you can do it right. Um, you can get the combo king here if you're, if you, um, time things right. The Combo King is only 15 here. Didn't quite get it there, but we'll have another opportunity to to get it. So, um, no worries there. But that seriously, that was, at the beginning, that was one of the hardest parts about this uh, episode, was getting through that section. But, this is only the beginning. There will be an even harder section to come. So, after taking out those stenches, then the level area, or the area will clear and we can proceed. Uh, there's a live bomb right there, or mine that's being ready to be active, and unfortunately, we still have to deal with rockets here, so I'm going to try to hold on to the stench as long as I can and not lose it, because I just don't trust my ability to dodge these rockets. You know, okay, you haven't... Let's just use the Aku Air Grind and get through this section. There's a free mojo container there right away. There's a speaker, which we'll get to hear. And Jen. But uh, we'll get to hear him more, talk more once we get inside the lair. But, but uh, just be prepared for what we're going to be having to deal with moving forward. So we got these ledges here, these mines, although they look like they're far away, they will damage you. And last thing you want to do is fall off because there's nothing below you other than just water. Let's try this again and see the funny thing is I feel like I have to push another button when I get next to the ledge that I want to jump to, but you really don't and that sort of throws me off. So I got hit. I thought I was over it. See this is the one other thing I was having difficulty with with this level is you never really know if you're, based on the view you have, if you're past the mine or not, but in any case. So after clearing this section, backflip and get the voodoo idol behind that big purple flower. Nothing to it here. Here's another area where you can get a combo king easily. Just um, don't be careless. Should have enough of the spin. Oh, I got hit. I should have had it. All right, let's try it again. He got it. Okay, we don't get. We don't got it. Um. Okay, I should have had it that first time. If I only I hadn't gotten hit. That's kind of disheartening, but no need to worry, as Don would say. 
from Pokemon because there is a couple more places we can get the Combo King, although it'll be much more difficult too, um, which you'll see why here in a little bit. But I'm just kind of mad that I didn't get that right then and there. All right, so we got three uh, do monkeys making their way here. Let's see if we can try to get them. All right, got the hits. Get out of there, and we're good. And of course, we have to deal with a sludge. Let him take out our Indian friends. Oh, free Jack Mask. Give that to me. I need this. Get you. And now I should be A-OK. -okay. Let's get some more mojo while we're at it. Uh, kick the mojo multiplier. I'm going to try to get as much of it as a mojo as I can. And then jack that sludge. So I can accumulate it towards my total of jack sledges. Might end up getting the skin in this episode too, we'll just see. Oh, it's running away. Alright, we just need to take out one more minion, and we got the minion master, so now we just take, need to take out all three spy bots, which we won't see until we get to the final area of the level. And pretty wide open over here in this area. There's nothing to be a big a big concern as long as you have a, a jack sledge, but again, it can be your best friend if you have if you're using one, but if not, then it'd be like your worst nightmare. At least for me they are. Especially if you have to deal with more than one. Which we will. I'll go ahead and tell you all right now we will eventually. But for now let's just collect as much mojo as we can. Cause I think we're only about eight more upgrades f uh, away from having collected everything. And you can see the bonus level is right there. Rather than jacking the stench, I'll just go ahead and ignore it, let it go on its own. Let's go to this bonus level. The game's called Where Beagles Dare. Um, it's another enemy destroying mission. So what we want to do first, let's get the uh, free jack mask. Stun the sludge. And let's quickly get a Magma Dawn here before we get ambushed. Because I don't think the sludge has the greatest of defenses. There are a couple of other free jack masks on your way if you absolutely need them, but from here, if you can, try to get off a, a stomp, but obviously didn't want me to do that, so. Ooh, I got both of them with one free jack mask. Way to kill two birds with one stone. Alright, actually use that a little too soon, but no need to worry. And uh, we have plenty of time, but if you're not careful, it can be easy to get ambushed here. So, you know, don't be in such a rush, but just keep in mind that these are titans that we're having to deal with, so you want to be, be fast. And now once you get to here, Couple, two Rhino Rollers will appear, so you can jack one and try to get in a position to where you can use the uh, Rhino Rolling technique because that'll stun the enemies, especially the Snipes, a lot quicker. We'll stun this Rhino Roller and use it in case we need to you, take out a couple more Titans, but I think we're near the end here. Oh, okay. Thought we got you, but I, apparently we didn't. And then, after those snipes go, then we'll have a couple of stenches, who, and uh, a couple of gores too. This is where things might get difficult. Oh man, that hurt. If I can get one more free jack mask, I think there might have been one more. Oh yeah, it's right here. But unfortunately, I can't get it without getting help, and... Okay, there we go. Got about 30 more seconds, I gotta hurry. And thankfully this gore might be what I need to take out the rest of the titans if I can do this fast. Alright, you're stunned. I'm not going to worry about you guys because you're going to die eventually. I'm not to, you know what? You're too slow. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Once again, I'm going to fail a mission because I didn't take, I was, didn't take enough time. Now if I don't hurry, I'm going to die. Man, this is kind of frustrating. Oh, see, now I die. I'll see you guys back in the bonus level when I just about finish it. Ok, 
Come on. All right, now we finally get the slush skin, which is good. All right, stun you guys. I'll go ahead and jack another Magmadon here. Why is it that one sludge seems to not want to cooperate? Oh, you are not killing me with an uppercut again. I'm gonna waste my my special just so I make sure that I take you out. Alright, leave you. Get this free jack mask. Take out this rhino roller. Oh, we roll at the exact same time. That's amazing. This one. Alright, I think I'm in a much better position this time to take out. So we'll go ahead and immediately start our second roll. If I can stun these two gores, then okay. Now we have it. So just gotta wait for them all to to go out, uh, go down, and then that'll complete the level or the mission rather. All right. I just hate that I couldn't do it on the first try, but thankfully it only took me about three tries. So. We'll be getting to the final stretch of this level here in a moment, where we'll have another one of those miniature boss fights. And you'll see here, right now, as we enter through this door. Hurry up! And defeat Crash! He's getting that look in his eye again! Is it just me, or does Engine sound like... Or, um, his voice actor sound like Ren Hork? From Ren and Stimpy. Okay, so as you can see, uh, a couple of spy bots are in the background here, and we're about to get raided by a bunch of sludges. And this would be the part where I wish I had uh, some kind of way to take these guys out on my own without having to worry about getting a free jack mask. I'm going to try something here. We got all three spy bots are in this room, by the way. So um, what you want to do is try to get yourself in a position where you can get a sludge on its own. Uh, not to mention we have a Scorporilla here. You could try to use a Scorporilla to stun those, but you're basically taking a big risk because their ground pound move covers a lot of ground, and if you get hit in the middle of it, then you will die. So... How am I going to do this? This is going to be the rough part about this. Well, obviously that didn't help. Alright, let's try this. See, unfortunately... I already have a hard enough time trying to take out one as it is, when it's um, by itself, but if I have to deal with at least three, in this case, it's gonna be tough. Come on. Stun each other. I don't care how you do it. I really hope I don't get a game over. That would be the most disheartening thing. This is the instance where I wish I had a sludge skin. There's a free jack mask up there, but I don't know if there's any way any way for me to get up, get to it. What I might have to do is try to lure the Scorporello. Hey, they're in a position where he can help me out like that, see? That's the only other thing I could think of, is to just do that. And now I should be in good control. So what we're going to need to do is jack this Scorporilla. And we want to do so as fast as I can before we get ambushed by more sludges and minions and whatnot. Alright, so now let's take it out while it's... Or, or get it while it's stunned. Give ourselves some breathing room. Now going forward, what you want to do, you gotta destroy these machines in order to get to the final part of the level. And um, use, go close to where the uh, spy bots are, and from there use your ground pound special with the Scorporilla. And the impact radius will reach to the point to where it'll take out anything up top. So let's see if we can get it off again. I'm gonna have to without some more enemies. It could be possible to where you, if uh, your Scorporilla dies, you'll have to 
once again uh, try to, to jack one. So there's the second one. And then the final one, I believe, is in a corner somewhere back here. Let's see if we can try to find it real fast before we uh, get taken out. Thankfully, we have a uh, Wampa Fruit to stem the tide for us a little bit. Alright, where's that final spy bot? Oh, okay, it's right here. In the bottom left corner of the area, so... Quickly clear out these sludges if we can before they take us out. And we use the special one more time! Got the spy bot, so now we have enough for gold level idol, so now I just need to take out that last machine up there. And once I do, then trigger one last cutscene, and then we'll be able to in this level here. So, while we're on our own, we use the ground pound one last time. We met with another Scorporilla once the latch to engine's rear end <laughs> opens, which is weird. And from there, really, you don't necessarily have to clear it with the Scorporilla. Um, you can if you want to, but um, I'll try to make it out in style with the Scorpiola that I have now, and I think I will make it out, so we'll just walk up this way, and from there, we are done, as we enter in Jin's lair. So I'd say, other than having a couple of slip-ups using the, or doing the bonus level, I got through that level pretty well, all things considered. We did get the sludge skin, which... Like I said, I was hoping to maybe unlock that before starting this recording, just so I could at least feel better about my chances of not having to worry about doing this level and uh, doing number a number of takes, but thankfully I didn't need it. And for once, we actually don't have anything to show as far as new minions or titans are concerned, because we didn't see anything new in this level. Um, we will in the next level, though. For sure, which will be fun because we'll be getting inside engines lair finally, and um, which is going to be big, but it'll give us a chance to see more of uh, engines wacky behavior. So that said, guys, that is all for episode ten. Um, if you guys like what you saw here, subscribe, leave me some good comments, good or bad. I am open to all. And uh, when we continue on next time on Let's Play Crash of the Titans, we will uh, take up, pick up where we left off and start episode 11. So until then, guys, I am out. Stay perky, all right? I'll see you guys next time.